One of the important differences in lung cancer is to break it down into two big categories. There's what we call non-small cell lung cancer and there's small cell lung cancer. And for 30 or 40 years, we've divided them that way. And the reason is because small cell lung cancer grows very fast, divides very fast, and surgery, even for early disease, is generally not an option. It's, it's already spread by the time the surgeon takes it out or by the time the patient recovers. So they stopped doing surgery on small cell lung cancer a long time ago. On the other hand, small cell lung cancer responds very well to chemotherapy. It shrinks very quickly and we get dramatic responses. If someone just has a, a, a limited uh, small cell lung cancer, we can cure them with a combination of chemotherapy and radiation. If they have extensive, meaning it's spread somewhere else, small cell lung cancer, we can't cure it, but we can significantly prolong their survival by treatment as well. Non-small cell lung cancer, which is the more common one, 80% of lung cancers, is approached first surgically, and then with either radiation or chemotherapy, or chemotherapy alone. The other thing, the past two or three years, about non-small cell is we've been able to break it down into even smaller groups. There's the adenocarcinomas and the squamous cell carcinomas and the others. And some of those have genetic mutations and there are drugs for specific mutations of some of these non-small cell lung cancers. Oral drugs that you take by mouth at home, very few side effects and work very well to control the disease. So it's important if you have a non-small cell for your tumor to be tested for genetic mutations to see if any of those drugs are applicable for you.